Laris by Charles Kemp. Laris found a crystal stone portal he had stumbled upon inside a cave that he was forced to hide in. He had been hunting in Peru when terrible events happened, and Laris had been forced into hiding inside a cave from a terrifying creature. Laris looked around the cave and spotted an unusual object. He noticed it had a slight luminous glow. Lawrence picked the stone up and became overwhelmed with great fear when suddenly he was forcefully and violently thrust into another dimension. A dimension inhabited by strange creatures with bizarre technology. Lawrence cried out when a formidable looking businessman approached him. He managed a mysterious crystal stone. The creature greedily grabbed the crystal, but Lawrence desperately hung onto it, sensing it had some great importance. The lizard man spoke telepathically, the words impacting Lawrence's body, causing him to almost black out. Give me that crystal. came the silent message. Lawrence began sweating profusely. It felt like someone had smacked his stomach with a baseball bat. I, I stammered Lawrence. What, what in the hell kind of creature are you? And where am I? Your words are physically hurting me. I don't understand how that is possible. The creature roared ferociously, snatching the crystal. Simultaneously, a blinding flash of violet white light shot out from the stone, which caused the lizard man to land violently upon the cave floor. A new creature suddenly materialized out of thin air. It looked kind of like a very tall man with large moth-like wings and glowing red eyes. The lizard man became fearful in the presence of this strange being. How did he get here and how did he come by the crystal portal? Demanded the new creature. I am not aware of him. The creature Aru glided over to a large black octagon shaped mirror and waved one wing over it. This caused the black mirror to pulsate and slowly reveal a picture of the events that had just transpired. Lar, you have not been entirely truthful. The plasma eye indicates that you are aware that humans have already discovered the crystal and you are waiting for an opportune moment to steal it. Aru turned, gazing at Lars, his red eyes glowing with great intensity. Lars became styled to find himself teleported to a majestic valley surrounded by mountains deep inside the earth. Lars fell, stumbling on the ground as a large dark shadow flew over him and perched high in a tree. He looked up to see the same bizarre, half-man, half-bat creature he had seen before while hunting. It was gazing intently at him with his wings folded. Lois stood up and yelled, What in the hell is going on and what do you want with me? Instantly, the creature flew down and completely enveloped Lois in his wings. And desperately the struggle she made this 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 struggle she